What's up, Packers fans? Welcome to Keep It Up, Pick It Up for guys who both showed out against the Broncos on Sunday night and a few others who really need to pick it up. Keep it up, Tyrone Hopper. The rookie started slow, got fooled on some boot action, seemed to get a bit out of place at times, maybe overrunning a few ball carriers, but on the balance on the evening, played 51 snaps and led the team with 11 tackles. The game really seemed to slow down for him as the evening went on. And this is probably expected after missing a bunch of time with injury, hadn't been practicing in a team aspect for the last week or so of camp, did not play in last week's preseason game, thought he showed out pretty well against the Broncos. Pick it up, Lucas Van Ness. The former 13th overall pick was stonewalled far too often by the Broncos starters. I understand he's had a decent camp, and I thought he played pretty darn well against the Browns last week but they want a lot more out of a guy who they expect to be a significant contributor to their pass rush rotation. Last night was disappointing. He's got to pick it up. Speaking of the pass rush rotation, keep it up, Brenton Cox Jr. I said last week he needed to pick it up, and he certainly did. His performance against the Broncos was really encouraging. A team-high five pressures, including a big-time sack in the third quarter. That's exactly the type of effort you want to see out of Brenton Cox Jr. Pick it up, Kalen King. The rookie corner had a rough night, and I think that's probably being kind. King missed two tackles, one of which resulted in a first down on a third and 17. He also got beat for a touchdown, though. I think the assignment was pretty damn tough. They were in what looked like straight-up man, had to follow his guy across the rotation. Tough spot to be in. But overall, Kalen King, expect more out of this rookie. He's got to pick it up. Keep it up, Andre Dillard. While he has certainly struggled at times in camp, this is two weeks in a row where I thought he put together some solid performances, especially in pass pro, had some very solid wins in one-on-one situations, especially early in the evening. There's no doubt the Packers are looking for someone to be that swing tackle should something happen to either one of their starters. And so far in game action, Dillard has showed up. Got to keep it up. Let me hear what you guys think. Who should pick it up? Who needs to keep it up? Tell me in the comments below and then tell your friends and tell your family. Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide.